And welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we've got another music teacher reaction and analysis video for you. Specifically, we're going to be looking at Ginger and their live performance in Melbourne of the song entitled Teacher, Teacher. Super excited to learn more about this group. So with that being said, everybody, let's get into it. I like it. It's a little different than what we've heard. All right, we're going to pause real quick there. I, man, I really like what this is. This is way different than I expected. Um, I, it's almost got like kind of a hip hop feel to it. Um, I would, con I would kind of consider it like a hip hop slash almost like a, uh, a loose shuffle in jazz. We might even say, uh, clearly <laughs> it's got a lot of differences from those two things, but, uh, it's just very, very different than what I expect. I expected more of this, you know, really heavy, fast da -da 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 kind of metal. I mean, whenever you get heavy metal stuff like that, it's always a real fast four, typically speaking, not kind of the slow shuffle hip hop feel that we've got going on in this song. It's really neat. I really, really like that kind of, you know, just throwing you off a little bit. Not, not, not uh, kind of the norm, not following the norm, so to speak. Her, I mean, her, her singing is one thing. We'll talk more about that further down the road. But the other thing that strikes me immediately, guys, is just how much is happening in this song. There is so much there musically to break down. I mean, it's just it's almost like this this wealth of of sound and like this you know overwhelming soundscape essentially that's happening here. Uh, we'll do our best to kind of break down as we go on, but I, I don't want to stop too much here yet. We want to get a little bit more into it, and we'll break down some bits here as we go. Uh, but man, really, really impressive opening. All right, let's go ahead and pick up here and uh, see what they got for us next. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the section that I was really more expecting from from a group like this that does a lot of that heavy metal type stuff. It's really cool how they've got kind of that juxtaposition going on. How you can go, you know, from this really really cool shuffle feel, um, real laid back, relaxed tempo, and then suddenly, bam, go into that real fast, real real energetic, real high energy kind of section there. And it's, it's this group, especially with her with her vocals, man. Uh, I guess the 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 thing that we can take from them is just the the differences, the juxtaposition from one thing to another. We see that here in, in terms of the composition side of things. We also see that with her voice too, guys. She goes from this, 
this incredible, you know, raspy uh, using her false vocal cords sound that she's got going on there in the in the opening. And then, man, just this beautiful, beautiful voice before we got into that heavy metal section there. That's I guess that's the best way I can describe it, guys. I, I'm pretty sure the the part where she is singing with her normal voice is uh, is the chorus. But uh, we'll we'll see as we get further into this here. But man, man, just incredible ability for her to switch voices like that. Pause real quick. We'll pick up there in a second here. I just want to point out, guys, this section, he's he's just tearing it up through the whole song. This bass player, just incredible playing from him. And this section in particular, we got a real good visual of what he is doing and how amazing he is. Just watch the technique that he's got going on with these with both both the right hand and the left hand. The right hand is more visually obvious, in my opinion. Um, but to see the, the finger technique that he's got to keep this rhythm right in time with these runs that he's got going throughout this song, it's really impressive. Uh, I, I, again, like I said, there's so much for us to break down. Her voice is incredible. How she's able to switch from one voice to another like that so easily. The bass player here, just incredible technique and playing. Uh, we'll, we'll continue with some of the other ones, but I just wanted to point that out. We're going to just do a little bit of this section so you guys can really focus on that. Just visually speaking, it's going to be this this page right here that we're focusing on here. Really impressive. I, I just want to say I, I love her voice like when she's using her her normal singing voice like she I, I could see how she'd be highly underrated guys because everyone focuses on her you know using when she uses her false false vocal cords and everything but her actual like regular singing voice is just so good she's just got great tone quality to her voice and she sounds so so good uh, it's just it's easy to overlook that you know, with everything that's going on, with how incredible it is for her to switch between the two voices, it's really easy to forget the quality uh, of her tone that she's putting out with her voice. It's just really, really good. Sorry, I just wanted to point that out. Careful, careful not to rush. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. 
Wow, we gotta hear that again. That was incredible. We have to. It's just incredible. I'm sorry. I'm speechless. One, I want to hear her vocals again there, but also two, the other thing that I was drawn to there, guys. Listen to the set in, in this section. Totally different than what we heard before. We he was just playing, you know, this real laid back kind of groove feel on the set. Now he's got this this real quick movement on the hi hat, and he's doing a lot of other. I'm going to call them effects. They're not really effects. He's just hitting other uh, symbols to create different sounds. But what he's doing really well through this section is that he's creating this kind of soundscape of dynamic contra contrasts and sounds. Um, it's more like what you would hear. If you, so if you were watching a movie and you were to hear something like this, it's typically done through processing. Like they'll add some of these effects in post-production, things like that, uh, to kind of create this atmospheric feel it's very difficult to do in a live setting, especially with one instrument playing it. And he does this phenomenally well. It's very, very easy to miss. So I want to point that out as we listen to her just belt it out again. I want to point out what he's doing in the background here, guys. Really listen in for that. It's just some impressive playing. I wish we could see it. You don't see it, though, unfortunately. But I guarantee you his hands are all over the place during this section. Right there. It's so cool. way to end it too man just incredible incredible song guys great amazing performances I, we didn't talk a whole lot about the guitar player but he was doing some incredible stuff too uh just just i, I sorry I got, I got caught up in in, in, in mostly in the vocals the vocals were just phenomenal there folks absolutely incredible uh hopefully you enjoyed what you guys saw today if you did i appreciate it if you guys uh gave a like and subscribed so that you don't miss any of the content that we've got coming out uh if you want to continue down the rabbit hole so to speak make sure you guys check out the two videos that we've got listed here next all right everybody catch you next time